The idea is that we should provide 100% access to Wi-Fi. This one had appeal to me from the standpoint of being able to say to uh, the rest of the world that Barbados was the first country in the world that was covered uh, entirely by Wi-Fi. I do believe that free Wi-Fi is, if not critical, certainly important to you know our technological base going forward. It's brilliant. In order for Barbados to grow and prosper in the global market, it has to avoid the pitfalls of the digital divide. Many homes cannot afford a computer. Furthermore, they cannot afford to have internet service. It is allowing uh, the average person to have access to the internet. This is one of the things that I think could really push Barbados in the correct direction. And if we look now at those nations which are growing apace, they are the nations which are fully wired. Last week, I read that Nokia is sponsoring free Wi-Fi across central London. People want to be connected with their offices or other people that they're dealing with. And by opening up our internet access to them, it, it adds its value added. Barbadians are really thinking about these issues and about the critical importance of Wi-Fi and that they have completely embraced it and they want it and they need it. Opening our Wi-Fi was an easy decision. The process of opening the Wi-Fi was a lot easier than I thought. I think that having Wi-Fi available to the nation would be something that would be very much used by the public and very much appreciated. When people look at the stats around the world to see where is ranked the best place to live in the world, where is ranked the best place to do business in the world, that Barbados will be on the top of that list.